Hi everyone, welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today we are pleased to be bringing you some benchmarks for the new GeForce GTX 780. We have two of them here as you can see, so we will be sharing two-way SLI benchmarks as well as some comparison numbers with some other video cards. Uh, if you're not familiar with the 780 already, um, well you should go back and watch our other 780 introduction video because that sort of has all of the gory details. Uh, but some brief specs, it features the GK110 GPU which was previously only available in the Titan as far as uh, gaming video cards go. Uh, features GPU Boost 2.0, features this really awesome uh, metal housing and air cooler, uh, also a uh, sort of hand-me-down from the GTX Titan. Uh, we also have some specialized versions, at least uh, this one from EVGA is currently available as well. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and take a closer look at some of the cards as well as the cards I'll be, we'll be comparing this to. So here's our 780, 10.5 uh, inches long, blower style fan, polycarbonate window, metal housing, uh, really cool design, very fast card, stays very cool overall. Uh, again, you get features like GPU Boost 2.0, and of course you get the massive GK110 GPU right there. Again, if you want more details on that, check out our overview video. But what are we going to be comparing it to? Well, we couldn't go without comparing it to the Titan, so we got one of those right here, and you might notice some, um, some very... <laughs> very, very distinct similarities between them. Essentially, you have the same PCB layout, uh, you have less memory, you have a few less SMX units, so a few less CUDA cores, uh, but they're definitely very much siblings, uh, and a lot of the goodness of the Titan went straight into the 780. So we'll be sharing numbers from one of those. Um, while I'm on the topic of uh, this range of cards, let's, here's a quick look at uh, EVGA's GTX 780. It features the ACX, or Active Cooling Extreme Cooler, that they've designed dual fan blower unit. So we will be expecting to see um, some custom designs uh, from some of the board partners that NVIDIA has. This happens to be one from EVGA and uh, my boy Steve will be doing a full video on that as well. So if you guys want to take a closer look, you can. Uh, we will be of course comparing it to the last gen GTX 680. Here's EVGA's stock version of that. So threw that in there for some kind of baseline benchmarks. A quick look, look at that. If you're not familiar with this one, then you probably don't watch our channel very much, I guess. And that's okay. If you don't, you should sub subscribe. Uh, and then also, of course, we must be representing Team Red as well. So from AMD, we have the 7970 gigahertz edition. Sorry about that, they're already trying to fight. Um, the 7970 gigahertz edition, which is the current top single GPU card uh, from AMD, and this happens to be HIS's 7970X. So this one is a, a bit more over-designed. This is not the reference design, but it is running at the reference clock speeds of the 7970 gigahertz edition. So we'll be throwing that one in as well. So those are the players in our little benchmark brawl today. And before we jump into it, I would like to quickly state that we know you at home have a choice when it comes to watching benchmark videos on YouTube. And we'd like to thank you for choosing Newegg TV. We've actually gone so far today as to include graph technology in our benchmark videos, combining not just our 1920 by 1080 benchmarks, but also our 2560 by 1600 benchmarks together in the same video so that you can get a side-by-side -side comparison. We hope you enjoy that. I also wanted to mention real quick as we jump into the spreadsheet looking at all of the detailed specs of all of these cards, we are currently running 13.5 beta drivers for our AMD card and for the NVIDIA cards we're re re we are running 320.18 which are the launch day drivers straight from NVIDIA. And now here are the benchmarks.
So those are the benchmarks, some very impressive performance by the GTX 780, I must say, and uh, I encourage all of you to discuss all of those numbers ad nauseum down in the comments section down below this video. I would also like to point out that this really brings the GK110 GPU down from the mountaintop, so to speak, from the GTX Titan to the 780. Still definitely a very super premium card, uh, but much more attainable for those of us who are into enthusiast-grade computing. I'm also really looking forward to seeing additional SLI configurations. Uh, we just did two-way here, but of course you also have three-way and four-way that's still available. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, we would really like it if you'd subscribe to Newegg TV if you'd like to see more videos just like this. And don't forget to like this video because we spend a lot of time on these benchmarks and uh, liking the video will tell us that you like that and that we like you and that we all like benchmarks. Uh, this, I, I'm, yeah, like the video, I guess that's what I'm getting to. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching guys and we'll see you next time.